If you'd like to see the previous video in the series, click the link in the description or the pinned comment down below. Now on to the next one. Are you guys ready for part two? You are? Then let's go! What's really good guys, it's your boy Spider-Man, it's aka D-Man, your man, and I'm here for part two of our black TV show theme songs, go on the tier list on it, dropping that for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going into the 2000s and it's kind of a weird situation to be in because a lot of TV shows kind of started dropping off the theme songs. So many of Tyler Perry's new shows actually just refuse to adopt a, a lengthy theme song. It's just a nice little jingle and jingles just don't slap the way that they used to. I mean, By Menon kind of does though, so you know. By Menon, yeah. But for those shows that decided to reject modernity and embrace tradition, we're gonna look into all of those theme songs. And of course, if I decide to miss any of them, please just yell at me in the comments. Now, let's get started. Starting us off, we got all of us. Now, I actually forgot about this show until I started doing the research with this. And I remember the reason why I liked it when I was a little bit younger is because it's supposed to be based off of the actual real life relationship between Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. And, you know, let's go ahead and just jump into the, the theme song. I, that that, that kind of that kind of worked with me. It's this nice little chill vibe, just kind of rolling into it, getting your R and B chops in. You know what? All of us, you an earworm, throwing you right there. All of us is into the earworm category, right beside the Jamie Foxx show. I I got no I got no problems with it. It 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 it, it threw the title of the show in there, but hey, sometimes that works out. It's just all of us. Yeah, I can vibe with that. Yeah. On to the next one. See, this is what I'm talking about when they just kind of like abandon the lengthy theme songs to just give us a nice little jingle. And sometimes jingles can work, but then sometimes they don't. All of us, the previous one, that was a 30 second long, you know, dive into the show. For Are We There Yet? With Terry Crews. Let me show you what I mean. You know what? I don't even think I can accurately grade this one. I mean, the previous entry was a nice little 30 second groove. I could vibe with it, gets me into the show. But are we there yet? It's just a 10 second long snippet. It's a jingle. It, it, it's incomplete and because of that we had it a new category incomplete that's where are we there yet belongs right there incomplete on to the next one now for this next one is the reason why i changed the premise of this particular show or these this particular tier list from black sitcoms to black tv in general because if i just kept it to sitcoms it'd be a very very limited scope to what I could choose. But if I just kept it black TV shows in general, we get stuff like this. He's dynamite. So dynamite. <laughs> Come on now. Carl Jones and them, they gave us something big. I love it. We're keeping it. But here's the thing, is it an earworm or is it a banger? You know what? Frig it. I vibe with it, I rock with it, I roll with it, it's a banger. On to the next one. Sticking with Adult Swim, we got ourselves Black Jesus and it had a lot of stars in it. We had John Witherspoon, we had Charlie Murphy, had a lot of people. And one of my biggest regrets was that I didn't get into it as 
you know, as much as I wanted to when it was still on and popping. So let's just jump right into the theme song. Uh. All right, two things. One, I love the instrumental. Absolutely love it. Because of that, it's going to be an earworm stuck in my head. I'm loving it. Not yet banger, but it is definitely something I'm going to vibe with. Gets me into the show. Very nice and subtle. I like it. Two, Aaron Magruder. You and Pharrell need to share your skincare techniques because how are you and him that age and still looking that damn good. What the hell? Black Jesus earworm on to the next one. Continuing down the list with some of my favorite creators. First, we had Carl Jones, then Aaron Magruder. Now we got LaShawn Thomas with his Netflix series, Cannon Busters. When it got announced, I was so excited to see what he had coming up for it. And then, you know, now we have the theme song. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a lengthy one because it's it's following in lockstep with anime and they're like three minute long theme songs. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. All right, you got, you got a little clap at the beginning. Definitely an earworm. Don't need nothing else. Come on now. Since they're giving you a whole song, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bust it up one. And then throw the choir in there. What the hell? Say what you will about LaShawn Thomas and the shows that he makes. He understands the assignment when he comes into getting the music just right. And because of that, it's staying in the earworm category. It's a minute and a half long. Of course, you know, with your anime intros, it's got to be long. But this one, this one, this one by itself, you know, worked out. I like it. I like it a lot. Moving on. Now, previously, I put one that was a kind of a cheater with the Wayans brothers using a tribe and electric relaxation. I had to put it in the banger category. This one, I think I'm also going to be kind of stuck putting this one in a banger category before I even go for it. You know what? Frigate. 702, always a banger. Let's go with Cousin Skeeter. You know how he does. You know Skeeter flows. All I want to do is Cause I like your steelo And I mean He knows how to get down Knows how Making to Making good with your ass, come on now As I said, it's kind of unfair because once again, 702 is always going to work work out perfectly when it comes down to it. Definitely a banger. Y'all don't know how like the end of the century when it came down to Nickelodeon was like some of the blackest moments ever. Imagine being like, you know, 14, 15 years old and then hearing 702 come on and you got this little brown ass puppet doing dances with Bill Bellamy's voice. That shit was black as hell. On to the next one. Up next, we got another rapper slash singer who was given a show because he had big, big aspirations. I don't know why I said big, big aspirations. That's weird. Big talent. That's the word. Big talent. She had a lot of talent and she wanted to spread it around. So now we got Eve with her own show and her own theme song. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> Who likes to look fly and pick up any guy with a slick rap line? We'll give him the eye, get the keys to the ride, and live the single life. Little teasing on the side, knows I'm a yeah, that's missing knows right there. The cash flow, let the story be told. Oh, EVE, how you do that? 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 
Yeah, that's that's Missy. So part of me wants to ding it because like you have Eve right there. Jamie Foxx did it. Moesha did it. LL Cool J barely did it. Didn't even understand the damn assignment. But he he was there. But you got Eve right there. And you throw Missy on it. And because it's Missy, fuck it, it's an earworm. Just because it's Missy. But I'm watching you. Next time, rapper slash singer, you got your own show. I want you on the theme song. On to the next one. So until Dulé Hill and Don Cheadle gave us an actual version of the Wonder Years that, you know, encapsulates a lot of us, we had kind of sort of our own Wonder Years with Chris Rock and Everybody Hates Chris. And this is still slightly in jingly territory because it really didn't give you a whole bunch, but let's just jump right into the theme song for this one. Jam with it. All right, it got in there, it got out, didn't really wow you or anything, but it works because of that. It's kind of decent. Not not a lot much more that you could say to it. Just it's it's kind of decent. What can you do? Moving on. Now, here we got a show that I rocked with heavily in the early 2000s. I think they're going to be getting a revival. I don't know how I feel about that, but hey, it doesn't matter. I don't make the decisions. All I'm doing here is rating the shows and their theme songs, and that's the only thing I can have control over. I don't know why I'm using my hands a lot. That's just how I am. Theme song. This was another one that didn't wow you, but the whole definition of an earworm is that it gets stuck in your head. And because of that, I'm going to be humming girlfriends. Literally, not a lot going for it, but it works. Somehow it works. So because of that, girlfriends, you an earworm, baby. Just stuck in my head. My girlfriends. Moving on. If you ask me to describe this show for you based off of memory solely, I'd fail. Gun to my head, I would fail. I don't remember this show like that. I remember it being on, but I don't remember watching it like that. But I do remember the intro. And let's jump right into it. Oh, no, they are not. They, no, come on now. Yeah, I'm going to hit that same note. I, I, I ain't even going to front. I'm going to hit that same damn note. <laughs> All right. So. They was doing too much, right? I'm not alone in thinking that. They're doing too much. Doing too much. But because they were doing so damn much, and what was it, like 35 seconds, I, I'm giving you an A for effort. An A for effort, you're a banger. On to the next one. So I've been kind of hemming and hawing about this one for some time. Mainly because when the show aired... And as it continued on, it only gave you like a very brief snippet of a full song. So do I judge the full song or the snippet they gave you? Because I'm stuck on this one and I haven't really d developed an answer yet. Uh, I'm, I'm putting my wife and kids under the incomplete side of things. That's, 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 that's the best I can do for you guys. 
you're incomplete because it was it wasn't a real theme song. It's a jingle. Jingles don't count. Jingles don't count. Damn it. But in case y'all want to hear what I'm talking about, here here's how here's how far the song goes. Just to remind you. Technically, it would fade out at 10 seconds, but this is like a full on two and a half minute song that continues from that. So again, because it's technically just a jingle that you're showing us and not an actual theme song, because like, no dedicated screens to it, just the title card pops up, that plays through and we jump right into the episode, which I don't mind for the show in general because it got right to the laughs and I like that, but grading it as a theme song, it's an incomplete. Just simple, quick, and easy, and complete. Moving on. Now, we're one of two for Kyla Pratt. I I loved her to death when, when, when the shows came on. This one was one of my favorites. It made me laugh. Made me cry. Did that actually make me cry? But it, it it worked out perfectly for, for me. So here we go. Let's go ahead and jump right into one on one. Sometimes in the night, you can feel all by yourself. Check one, two. But I have a partner when I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So I'm on the one. Can I find a spot? You're the one on one. That's just because now we have a better one. I I don't even I don't even need to 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 autopsy this whatsoever. It's not a banger, but it's definitely an airworm because I'm gonna be humming one on one forever and ever and ever and ever now. Because I've, I've I've had so many theme songs stuck in my head because I did this for y'all. I want you to know this is my sacrifice. Next one. As I said, at the turn of the century, like either preceding it or a little bit afterwards, we had like the blackest moments of television when it came down to kids programming on Nickelodeon and also on Disney Channel. And with this one, we got T and Tamara's little brother popping off. Now this is the second theme song because the first one it, it ain't worth it, ain't worth it. So second theme song, second one, the one that y'all remember the most, let's go. Every day Hit it, women. Once again, gotta throw the title in there. I actually forgot that they had a whole ass rap verse in there as well. Like I didn't know that they wanted to throw some bars in there as well. I I I, I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but smart guy definitely had a groove to it. Also, uh, I forgot Omar Gooden, you know, rocking it. I wonder where everybody. Else, uh, that's gonna be the next. That's gonna be the next thing I research. I wonder where everybody else is because I, I haven't been seeing too many of the people who I've been loving in these shows like doing anything major afterwards, but. Smart guy, again, going to be stuck in my head. That's an earworm. Moving on. So the question that I have is, am I being accurate in my rankings or am I letting nostalgia steer me wrong or right? Whichever the case may be. Because either they got so much better at hooking you in with these theme songs that there are fewer hits and misses, uh, fewer misses versus hits, I should say. Or I'm just loving everything because it's like, oh, I remember that. And I'm just keeping it right. You know, just keeping it going. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. What I do know is it's time for that. So Raven. Once again, having the 
the main character actually starts singing the song. Throw the title up in there. Is is it is it nostalgia that that's that's gripping me? Because I remember when it came down to Disney Channel, they hammered this theme song. Because like this was this was right around her her three LW Cheetah Girl days. She was on everything with the Cheetah Girls and three LW. She was she was she was hitting everything. They had to do a whole music video for when this show started coming out to begin with. And she's back on Disney with Raven's House. So so is it good or is it nostalgia? Fuck it. It's good. It's a banger. I don't care. Be mad at me. That's what the comment sections are for. Moving on. So before you guys get mad at me, that you think I might be missing something here and there, I, I want you to know, I know how alphabetizing works. The computer, however, is an idiot. So all of the things with V, instead of ignoring the V as the first word or the T as the first letter, they add it into the ranking system. So all of the the boondocks, the 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 proud family, the Hughleys, all that stuff kind of gets moved to the end. So we're in the V territory right now. I just want you to know this, that I didn't forget. I, I forgot some things, but I forget everything. So if you if you have yet to hear your favorites on here, just hold on a second because we got we're, we're in the the territory. OK, these are the these. Speaking of these, it's time for the boondocks. I am the stone that the builder you don't even need that question it this is my ringtone I'm the spark that makes your idea bright the same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left judo flip chop 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 judo flip chop 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 judo flip I mean the show by itself is already in banger territory just like if we were if we were grading the show without the theme song just like actually going through the show Hands down, 10 out of 10, no problem. You throw Asheru into the mix with his his verse on on the intro thing, it's iconic. So banger. No questions. I I I no notes. No notes. Moving on. The game is weird. I think it's been canceled like eight different times revived multiple times it's coming back again it's been on 12 different channels I'm pretty sure it was on the cooking channel once and because of that like it's it's so weird because you had so many of these revivals it's hard to really figure out which is the theme song the only one that I could come up with like some kind of consensus is something that's very very jingly and you know what I think about jingles you know what I think about jingles <laughs> It's a jingle. It is literally just a jingle. Because of that, it's incomplete. It's going in incomplete. Didn't give me anything. It gets it gets you right into the show, but like as a theme song, it's incomplete. Next. All right, the Hughleys as a show is is a weird one. It's like in limbo. Because, like, for so many of them, I've seen them, like, hit syndication somewhere else. I've seen, you know, advertisements for all of us popping back on. Of course, the Jamie Foxx show, Fresh Prince, Living Single, Different World. So many of these shows that, like, had some kind, like, had multiple seasons that just, like, banged. Like, hit syndication. But the Hughleys, just, I've never heard anybody talk about it. At all. And I think I kind of want to attribute it to the fact that I think the theme songs just kind of like kind of went in one ear, went out the other and just kind of disappeared. So I had to find like the best one that I could find for this show. So here we go with season three, the theme song for season three of the Hughleys. This is the right time. 
so it's a groove. It is. But there's a like an air of genericness to it. Like it it's not saying anything about the show, about who's in it. I may joke about, you know, then continuing to throw the title in there, but at least, you know, when they throw the title, you know that it is quintessentially that show's theme song. This one, I think you could like throw on any show and it'd fit. Like it it, it would fit. It, It would fit. So because of that, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. And because of that, we're going to move on to the next one. So first in the late 90s, we had Moesha. Now we got the Parkers rounding out like the mid 2000s. Right around there, we have Monique and their theme song. It's memorable to say the very least. Let's jump into it. This is one of those things where I'm not a big fan of of what I just listened to. Not not the biggest fan. Like whenever the Parkers came on, I actually didn't mind the show. Like, I, I kind of liked the show, but when the theme song popped, I skipped the hell out of it. But I don't think that that's fair for me to do right here to put it in the skippable category. Because it isn't skippable. It, it, it's still, it's an, it's doing the one thing that I wish it didn't. And now it's stuck in my head. It's an earworm. Parkers, you, you, you go up there into the earworm category. And I'll be glad if I never have to hear you again. Next. I did a paper my sophomore year of high school about black stereotypes in media and how it affects society at large. I expanded on it further in college with, you know, a better vocabulary and a better understanding of how to do my research. And the one thing that came up constantly when it, when it, you know, when we were talking about certain shows was the PJs. I never watched the PJs. So I never actually heard the theme song. So this is going to be a new experience for me as well. Yay. Once upon a time in the projects. That's not fair. That's not fair. No red high rise, y'all. Y'all pulling George Clinton in here? Yeah. This is not fair. I didn't know what Larry Wilmore was on that one. Again, unfair to throw George Clinton up in there. How dare you? Frick it. It's an earworm. It is. Being being 100% impartial, now I got to watch the PJs. They're going to make me watch the PJs. Fuck it. I'm giving I'm willing to give it a shot. Hey, that's that's the whole point of this thing. PJs, moving on. As I said, I'm going to say it again. Uh, Late 90s, early 2000s, black as hell. Black as hell. Solange Knowles, at the time, was just Solange Knowles. Now she's Solange and dropping like some massive bangers. Kyla Pratt, number two. Tommy Davidson, dropping them on there. Wizard Kelly. Our little play on Magic Johnson. I loved everything about this show. It's coming back again, but it's an actual revival. I don't know about a revival because it's not really a revival. It's a continuation because it's supposed to be taken on later on in the life cycle, I think. Anyway, keep an eye out on it. But here we go. We got the Proud Family. Let's just drop the Proud Family. What? You and me will always be tied. Family every single day and night. That baseline. Even when you start to act 
girl, push your buttons and make you want to go. It wasn't just salons, now that I think about it. Because I remember, again, Disney was doing it big in the early 2000s. Like, when it came down to the marketing machine that the Disney Channel was doing, it was killing it. Now, now they got Disney Channel and Disney XD where they will let shows die on the vine for no reason. DuckTales, that should have been going on for years. And now, now y'all just gonna let it cancel and die. Like, why, 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 why you do my DuckTales like that? Why, why you do my DuckTales like that? But back in the day, of course, they'd have their usual commercials, you know, uh, gotta hawk your, your, your sugar, sugar, your honey shams or, or, or your frosted flakes, all that. You, you gotta hawk those. But they would also throw in little snippets and little previews for shows that get you incredibly invested. And I remember they had, they had a nice little snippet for, for Beyonce and Solange and, and the studios for it. So I, I'm, all that to say it's a banger. Y'all would y'all would crucify me if I didn't put that in the banger category. I know that for a fact, but it's a banger. You know it is. Let's go ahead and jump in onto the next one. So before the last OG in 30 Rock, I didn't even know he had his own show. So instead of just letting it be lost to time, the theme song, here's the theme song to the Tracy Morgan show. Yay. I grew up on the wrong side of town All my life people putting me down Had a dream about being a king So I work real hard Like I did I guess now and then the sun do shine And I hope you love your life Cause man, I'm loving mine That's right That's washed Like I, I, I got nothing out of it It's not incredibly super unique to the show um, it just kind of there. Uh, you know what? Not nah, nah, nah. Nah, we skipping that one. I'm sorry. We we we're skipping it. It's just getting skipped. Next. As I said at the beginning of this, so many of Tyler Perry's shows, at least when it came down to the 2010s and now 2020s. They don't have theme songs, they have jingles. Just brief little snippets. And instead of just jumping through all of those particular jingles, like the haves and the have-nots and the like, and just throwing them into incomplete, I want to do something a little bit special because this show technically got started in 2007, got canceled, got revived, and got brought back. Now, the current iteration has a jingle for a theme song, but this one... This one that started in 07 actually kind of works. I, I like this one. So let's go ahead and jump into it. In this house, we've had some hard times. But we gotta keep on moving. Oh, he won't say he grew up. In the house, in the house, in the house, in the house, in the house of pain. How? does the house of pain have a better in the house tagline in their theme song than the actual in the house explain that to me but the house of pain it's it's bordering on generic bordering on it but again it's very unique to the show it definitely has a vibe from like the 90s that that's you know kind of bleeding over you know um I don't dislike it. It's not going to get stuck in my head. So I'm going to throw it in the decent category. It's decent. The original House of Pain theme song is decent. If you want to go ahead and, and and you know, look for the the current one, which is, you know, just kind of whack, go ahead and do that. But eh, this one's kind of decent. This one's kind of decent. So I, I, I'm rocking with it. On to the next one. All right, we did it. We made it all the way to the end. We got one more left. And I know, I know there's a lot of shows that I probably have missed. Go ahead and let me know which ones they are down in the comments below. I'm going to make sure to add uh, the little icons for uh, this uh, tier maker so that everybody can, you know, join in and give me your best tiers as as well. Um, 
Also, the tier is also going to be in the link down in the description below. I don't know why I probably didn't say that. I should have said that, but whatever. Follow along down below. But we got one more left. And once again, it's LaShawn Thomas serving us anime. Let's go with Yasuke. This is also unfair. Thundercat and Flying Lotus. How do you not love this? How do you not rock with this? What about the fans? What more can you say? Flying Lotus, Thundercat. That's a banger. Yasuke's a banger. That's the last one that we got. Hey, congratulations. You did it. You made it to the end of this video. We want to thank you guys for joining us for th this brief foray into black TV show theme songs. We're going to continue to be doing these kind of terribles as well, but we want to make sure that you guys are following along. So once again, down in the pinned comment and the description below, we're going to have this particular tier maker. We want to see all of your tiers. Go ahead and tweet us at Heel Kaiju over there on Twitter. Show us all of your favorite tiers. Which one was your favorite theme song as well? Show us what your nostalgia is looking like. And as we said, we're going to be continuing this terrible series. We're going to be looking into the realm of wrestling, music, movies, everything, even video games. We're going to be putting those video games over there on Hill Kaiju Gaming. Also, go ahead and subscribe to Hill Kaiju Gaming as well. Go ahead and do, do that thing too. Make sure, make sure you do it as well too. Also, if you want to make some suggestions for which tier list you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and head on over to patreon.com slash Kaiju. Throw us a suggestion here and there. And also become a patron as well. You get some of these episodes a little bit earlier than everybody else does over here on YouTube. We want to thank you guys for joining us. Make sure that you are having a wonderful day and we'll have to catch you on the next Tierables. Deuces.